Hi all, myself Vinita, working as an assistant professor at KSA College of Arts and Science for Women. Uh, today we are going to see a topic about types of weaving and knitting. First, types of weaving. In types of weaving, first type is plain view. Plain view is the most common and tightest of basic view structures in which the filling threads pass over the and under successive warp threads and repeat the same pattern with alternate threads in the following row, producing a checkered surface. They do not travel easily but tend to wrinkle and have less absorbency than other views. The plain view is variously known as calico or tabby view. It is the simplest of all views having a repeat size of 2. And the next one is satin view. Satin view is a view where four or more shaft with warp ports is interrupted diagonal. Interlacings are never adjacent to one another. Satin repeat over at least five ends and five picks, but the warp ends interlace only once per repeat. Properties of satin view: right and wrong sides look quite different. Very low abrasion resistant, and it has interrupted diagonal describable with magnificent glass. It is more expensive, an excellent lecture, less durable. Satin view, a view in which warp threads interlace with filling threads to produce a smooth facer fabric. A satin fabric tends to have a high lecture due to high number of floats on the fabric. Satin views produce a smooth, even and glossy fabric surface. This is due to the interlacing points being covered up by the flutes of the neighboring threads. And the next one is honeycomb view. And this name is given to this view due to its honey bee wave like structure. It makes edges and hollow structures which finally give a cell like appearance. In this view, both warp and web threads move freely on both sides, which coped with rough structure. Name of view used in toweling and occasionally for cotton or wool suiting. The fabric made by this view has longer float all over the fabric. Due to this reason, it is radially absorbent or moisture. And the next view is Huckback view. Uh, this view is largely used for, uh, for cotton towel and linen cloth. A heavy serviceable toweling made with slacky twisted filling yarns to aid absorption. Uh, it has longer flows into patterns which make them more moisture absorption. So employed in towels. This view is combination of longer floats of symmetric views in two patterns. Plain view is in remaining two patterns. Plain view gives firmness to the structure while longer float view increases the absorbency of fabric making it suitable for the above staffed purpose. Special draft is employed for this view. And next topic is about knitting. The knitting second most important fabric construction method after weaving is knitting. As knitting is the process of making loops and throwing the yarns through loops to form a fabric. In the easier days, in the earlier days, uh, knitting was considered as a unique technique of making fabric using wool fibers. The oldest knitted products are socks found in Egypt tombs. Knitting is done usually using long sticks like needles. The first knitting machine was invented in 1589 by Reverend William Lee. It slowly developed and today the market is filled with complex knitting machines to produce a huge range of knitted fabrics. Classification of knitting. Knitting is divided into two main groups as warp and whip knitting. Warp knitted fabrics are produced by a series of yarn forming loops in the lengthwise direction of the fabric. Whip knitted fabric is produced when one continues in warp yarns, the loop in the crosswise directions. The most common types of warp knit fabrics are tricot knit, raftsal, mylanil, and simplest knit. Then different kinds of whip knits are plain, pulp, and rip. Both whip and warp knitting can be incorporated in the jackpot mechanism to produce fancy knitted fabrics. Knitting and knitting can be usually divided, divided into two types. One is warp knitting and another one is whip knitting. Warp knitting can be another classified into circular knitting. Circular knitting may be into two types, single JC and double JC. And the whip knitting can be classified into flat knitting. Knitted fabric making process. 
Knitted fabric is constructed by forming the yarns into loops. The vertical rows of loop stitches in knit fabric are known as belts and the horizontal rows of the loops are called cores. The loops are formed by a group of needles or shafts which are arranged one after the other in the knitting machines on the needle plate. The needles are evenly placed. Sinker is used to pull the needles down which pulls the yarn to into the previous loop. The knitted fabric is pulled down and rolled at the base of the machine and collected to further use. Uses of knitting. Knitting fabrics are used for clothing, underwears or sweaters, home furnishing products like curtains, towels and also as medical textile products like grid bandages and also for industrial textiles like wipes and absorbent pads.